Guys and girls, uh, welcome back to the channel. Thought we would do just a quick catch up on what's in the uh, in the workshops today. Timmy's joined us today, so we've got Timmy Tastic One now. Uh, Timmy Tastic Two is now finished. He's gone home. He's gone home. He's yeah. gone. Home. That's right. So we thought, yeah, well, let's make the most of it and just um, give you a little update on what's happening. Um, this is the eve before um, RS Unstub National Day at Donington, which. I'll be going through tomorrow. We're going to take Phil's back up. We'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, another Black Mark 3 Focus RS. We've already talked about this briefly. This is a new customer from Surrey area, Essex. And yeah, so it's come down for a big brake kit, rear spacers, um, fit his mount tree manifold, breather plate, um, baffled sun, twin plate clutch, RTTV racing, exclusive twin plate clutch. But we found something quite nasty. Uh, and good job we did drop the sump down because if we didn't, we wouldn't have known. So, but yeah, so we've already basically part of number three piston, the skirt is decided to uh, fall off. And, and there it is. Yeah, that's um, what was, uh, that's yeah, what that's was found. That was found in there. So that changes things quite a bit. So, anyway, so that is um, going nowhere. So, next stage on that is we'll pull the front end off it, pull the motor out. And then we'll worry about that next week. Um, we got Robert outside. That's down for two liter block um, upgrade. Our precision crank and pistons and rods. We'll, we'll talk to you about that when we get. This is having the same, by the way. So we got two to do. Slightly different, um, but not big turbo or anything like that. So that's pretty good. But we'll do it uh, like a separate feature on that too, won't we? This wasn't, you know, bucked in for this, but it's turned into something else. But yeah, there we are. So that's our own battery stuff, which we, uh, which we've already talked about. Which so you don't need to buy a mount tune one now. I can supply you with a baffle sump plate, and um, you know the blank, no problem. All right. All past Monty's look. Yep. A bit more work done on this but one today. Dear. Yeah, these are the wheels we're going to go with. Uh, yeah. We've we've cool, isn't they? looked at a few options, but these are the ones that what I wanted we're to going try to go with. Yeah, what I wanted to try and recreate was remember the old Metro Turbo. Yes. Do you? Yes, I the, do. The, Just the you know, Maestro Turbo, Metro Turbo, Montego Turbo. Back in my day, I used to work on them all the time. Well, Metro Turbo. That's when the six R four came out. So what they done was, you know, we used to have uh, guys in coming in with those um, with the six R four body kit on it, and still running the little twelve inch wheels. Awesome. And then they looked like that, but they were right in the arch. So, yeah, we thought we would uh, give it a good test. What do you think, guys? Comments down below. Um, well, we, we, well, we think it looks all right, don't we? Yeah, of course. You know, they're off a gear, focus gear. Yeah, focus gear. So why not? I mean, we thought that, that was pretty cool. You might ask what all this is about. All right, so Byron, that old school engineering. Clever guy. Don't be saying more about him. Check him out on Instagram, Facebook fantastic you know there's nobody else like him he is a one-off um so we made these inserts so basically that's where the door mirror was so he's made these specific fiberglass inserts with a stud and everything um they've been timmy's put them in there bonded them in and then once that the car's got to go over to mr sticker this is the saturday of the bank holiday so monday bank holiday i'll be taking that over to mr sticker i'm driving it, obviously recover it over there we've had to line off all the all the the composite body panels the best you can you're never going to get it to sit absolutely perfect you know it's not it's not a factory panel is it all made by barnet old school engineering but it fits really well and um, a few more adjustments to do on the bonnet and all that sort of stuff but the main thing was just just to get it lined up so mr stick can put the, can put the top graphics on it so the big wrc spoilers the the other spoiler's off at the moment, obviously that's gone up, so that one's been taken off. You can now see with that spoiler off that you can actually see um more so with the, the rear relaxing glass look. That's the rear relaxing glass, which is the as you can see look, this is PS7 WRC. Alright. From Ellis Ward. Um, and this is what you have to do, look. So this is obviously the, it didn't come like that. So this is where we have to modify the tailgate for the spoiler to fit. Um, yeah, so, and the rear port lights, as we talked about before, but just you know, giving you an update, so we might just talk to you about it. The rear port lights. 
and then Mr. Sticker will um, put all the top graphics on it. He'll have it for a couple of weeks. And then when it comes back, he'll do all this, because that'll be all made good, and then he'll wrap over the top of that. And then the mirror, door mirror is going to go probably about here. So we've got proper M Sport WRC door mirrors, R5, logo on there. And we'll see the mirror on the other side. That's it. So it's so it's we're making good progress on it. Loads more to do yet, obviously, but um, that's for another day, innit? Down in the bottom workshop, look. So we got Phil's. So this is Phil's Black Beast, as we call it. We got our own little beast, and we got the beast, little brother. Yeah. Baby beast. Baby, yep. baby beast. Yeah. Yep. So this is Black Beast. Yep. Yeah. What a nightmare keeping a black heart thing. So we had Mr. Warren up here yesterday messing around, um, giving it just a, you know, a safe wash and quick Uber and all that sort of stuff. And then um, the white floor has been around just uh, doing a bit of polishing on it. Um, there's a few little you know, bit of residue on it, there's a few little stains on it, which has been, uh, she's now removed, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, if you come around to me, it's, I drove this back from uh, Race Cow on Friday, uh, Thursday, sorry. On Thursday, I drove it back from Race Cow. And as I've explained uh, on a previous video, um, I haven't gone into depth or detail exactly what we've done with, the, with the, what we've used for the big turbo and this, that, and the other. Um, some of the things have stayed, like the intercooler, the radiator, and all stuff like that. The clutch, the twin, it's got a twin plate clutch in this TTV one with twin organic plates on it. Uh, none of that's been uh, changed, that was all staying the same. But yeah, the fundamentals of the uh, internals are the same arrow precision rods, mallet pistons, um, etc. etc. ARP, everything, chromatic, you know, five air motor steel gasket, all that's the same. But the, yeah the actual power side of it and the turbo is different, of course it is. And this is all different, of course it is. And this doesn't run um, a stock ECU anymore. And we tried it, we were hoping to get it to run like that, but it won't, so we got to um, it's, it's run Cybex now. So full Cybex control system on this. And yeah, um, what else is there? Um, on the induction side of it look as you can see so this is all pretty much the same as it was it had to be refabricated um, with regards to work was done for the turbo anyway because it's different than it different turbo that was done for the stock turbo all the plumbing in the point where you can see here is for all the flex fuel that's a flex fuel sensor up there look which is continental on it that's a flex fuel sensor so basically what that does is it's like a it's very clever how it does it because as it says, it just with the Cybex, it senses what fuel the, the car is running and it'll adjust uh, the software that's been done, the calibrations that are done in the Cybex. It'll see that and then automatically start adjusting it so you don't need to worry about you chuck any fuel you like in it. You can mix it, V power, ethanol, whatever you like, methanol, put methanol in the tank as well if you want, and mix it up and then it'll see it and then it'll adjust it. You know, providing the calibration has been done on the software to see that. And that's what Remain at Race Cow will do. Um, but yeah, so all this lot here though, so this is the meth, this is the meth nozzles, the meth injection. These are extra port injectors. So they're 1300 cc proper Bosch Motorsport dynamic injectors in there. All the pipe work has to be Teflon for ethanol because what this car is gonna run, it'll have <clears throat> different calibrations on it. So run for V power one for V-Power and Methanol, and then another one for E112 and Methanol. So that'll really like jack it up. Um, so at the moment, it's just got calibration one on it. Reason being, ran out of time. I needed to get the car back from Race Cow, um, pull it from them so the car can go to Donington. That's what Phil wanted to do. And then um, that's why it's all a bit manic, a bit rush, rush, and then get it cleaned and all that sort of stuff. So the car's, um, yeah, pretty much ready to go. I've already drove it back from Race Cow and done some miles in it. So do some more miles up to Donington tomorrow um, with the show, and then Phil will have it back. He can have a bit of fun in it. And then, as I said on the previous video, we'll be swapping it again at Four Power Live, and then I'll have it back knocking myself um, and Race Cow. We can finish off what, do my bit back up to Race Cow and get them to finish off the calibrations. 
which is, um, yeah, so it's pretty much ongoing with this. I mean, we get it to there tomorrow. Phil's going to um, do some cleaning up and he's going to get his rags out to me, isn't he? I think he is, yeah. yeah OCD, he's, um, OCD. OCD Phil's going to have his uh, cleaning equipment out, yeah? He will be, yeah, mm. he will be. Yeah, I think so anyway. So, but yeah, that's that's um, so that's on fails. That's that's um, um, getting there. Put it that way. But first impressions on it um, from bringing it back. You know, seeing that driving sensibly, just um, settling everything in, and uh, yeah, it's pretty manic. Put it that way. And that's just on a on a V power map. Um, first time I've experienced I've had with Cybex, first time I've driven a Mark III Focus RS on Cybex. But first impressions are it's like it all runs absolutely sweet and monitoring it all the time. Uh, we contacted the Remain this morning, he'd done a, a login on Team Viewer, checked all the parameters because obviously it data logs all the time, so we pulled all the information off from my drive back, checked it all. He's happy with it. Um, we talked about the drive back and yeah, no problem at all. So. No, we didn't even need to make any adjustments, it was all good. So now I'm ready to drive it up to Donington, which is fine. All right, so, but there's loads more to come on that later, to be in it. Um, yeah, there is, yeah. 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 Um, and then, last but not least, your car. So, it's been a little while since we've, uh, because we've been so busy and whatever, but back onto yours now. Um, Timmy's gonna get the old pressure washer any minute in the old snow film. Um, so I've just got a, I've just put four new boots on it. Yeah, so it's um, Michelin Pilot Sport Force. Just had new tyres on there. On the old Ultra Legere. It's not, uh, it's not curbed. That's no, just tyre soap. Tyre soap. <laughs> which will be washing off in a minute. Um, hey, I fit these tyres. No exactly. No, but I didn't want the viewers hey, to no think. Car no carbon up going on there. No, no, I didn't. But I didn't want the viewers to think I've been curbing the alloys. Yeah, that's right. So uh, um, it is tyre soap. But yeah, these have all been fitted today by Martin. Yeah, uh, that's in the it. Tire and then we'll give the you know the brakes a quick uh, clean and then a uh, bit of a you know bit of a clean off on the on the spacers there a yep. bit of grease on there when it's uh, get them on there and um yeah you can start um start using it um and get some miles on it have a bit of fun in it, it? yeah um timmy's put where we put some uh, the four performance number plates surrounds on for you timmy's uh, just popped that on looks pretty cool it's a nice finishing touch on it yeah i like these um really nice little finishing touch and get rid of the uh mm the screw-in uh, number plates that were on there previously yeah. from the dealer and uh, I'm not a great fan of them but these surrounds they look really good so yeah, yeah we've got some new uh, number plates yeah, on there as well on the rear, so, yeah on the rear as well but you know again four pilot sport fours in my opinion best thing you can put on it I know everybody's got their you know their choices on tire but I've pretty much tried everything to be honest and they're the best Pitching in all the way, yeah? Yeah, well, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan mm -hmm. of them as well, so... The rear one looks cool, look. Yeah, so you've got the... Uh, and the red matches your car, look, race red. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so full performance on there as well, guys. Uh, Proper, genuine OEM sport rear sporter, courtesy of uh, Monty. Yeah, uh, you... Yeah. Video badge on there as well, look. Yeah, go way back on our videos, there's an install of the, uh, the rear sporter, and thanks again, Monty, for letting me get that. And, yeah, um, yeah we've got then, the uh, uh, Simpson... Got the party piece. So if you come down, look, you can see it, yeah. the little party piece, look. Got the Simpson rear silence. That's there. the different full way. full system. Yeah, all the way so that's through. a full three inch, all V banded yeah. all the way through. Proper WRC, uh, three inch turn down, forty five degree tailpipe. Yeah. Awesome. And again, um, check out older videos because there's an install mm. video of this on the channel, guys, with uh, sound clips as well, and mm. you'll be able to see the. You haven't sampled it yet. You haven't sampled it yet. No, not really. So we had that fitted, and the, the car hasn't really gone anywhere since. So. Um, mm be able to get that bedded in as Martin said get out there get using the car yeah. enjoying it and then there's plans, well, get, for more, you, exactly. plans for more things and then the car will be coming back yeah. in for well, you a few give me some, bits. like say you give me some feedback on you know the driving experience with it yes because yeah, don't forget this is this is a bit different viewers than whatever anybody else I think a lot of what I don't know of anybody else in the UK that's got a Fiesta running the sort of like setup that you've got Timmy with the full Port methanol injection in it, and, and, and you know, custom software and all that sort of stuff. So, um, not that I don't know of anybody, might be somebody out there, but um, not the like we've done it. I wouldn't have thought because um, um, yeah, it's pretty custom in it. So, um, obviously, Tommy, our friend that Tommy at Velocity Tuning is the one that's created all the all the methanol software for us. 
Uh, yes, he has. Yes, and um, um, you know, we've obviously we've driven it. We've you know, driven it, that. Ivan, um, but not since the WRC exhaust has been put on. Only just some short distances around the block and around the area, just to test and make sure it's all right. There's no rattles and bangs, and you know, just to do a, a like a heat cycle on it. But yeah. it hasn't had any real um, driving, which you'll do over the weekend, wouldn't you? You'll have, um, have some fun in it. Yeah, so. definitely. But yeah, that's all it was, just to let you know what we got in the workshop. Um, yeah, there's quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, hours of work here to be done. And that's, uh, that's just the way it is. But yeah, you can see on Phil's now that on the rear, we've put a... Uh, um, put sense and tags on the tail as well, though. Yeah. He hasn't seen the car yet. So Phil hasn't seen the, like I said, he's got my car, which I pretty much forgot I owned the Mark III Focus RS to me. I really did forget that I own one because I haven't seen it for so long. It was sending a, me pictures. And it I thought, was a nice. Oh. It was a nice surprise when you were reminded about it. That yeah, you did own was, one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've got so much going on. The money. I thought. Oh yeah, I forgot I had one of them. Yeah. So, but, yeah, but tomorrow, I'll be having my Mark III Focus RS back, only for a couple of weeks, man, and then I'll have the black piece back again. Yeah. And then once this one's done, and then, then that's. I mean, that was just a, a one-off um, for Phil because that was just some arrangement that we had like you know because so I've got his car he would have my car um, because it was like an ongoing thing that we were doing with development and all that sort of stuff um, but yeah that was just like a one off thing which is happening with Phil but in case anybody thinks that they've dropped their RS next <laughs> to me they're going to use mine for no. the duration of the time that no that's just a one off thing which is happening with Phil so uh, don't get any ideas viewers okay um, but that's it it's pretty awesome um, but I've yet to really sample this I've just I'm not gonna. It's not my car. I'm not gonna go wringing its neck, um, especially when it's, it's, it's just it's still on the in development phases. So um, yeah, plenty more to come with this one, and then I'll let you know what I think when when it's all finished. But first impressions are even on the V Power map, it's just the thing's nuts, absolutely nuts. So, but the more I learn about it, the more I learn about the Cyvex networks and. All that sort of stuff, but fantastic the way that Remain just come in, team viewer bang into the into the, the Cybex and just look at it all and any adjustments you could do and remotely fantastic, really really good. Proper race car stuff to me, isn't it? Yeah, it um, is. Yeah, you know, go in and laptop yeah. done. You know, let's change that, change this, change that. You know, I think that's that's what I say about having full control of the car, which you wouldn't really get that. But a stock ECU, you can't do that. You can't go in and start changing things. You know, um, maybe a, a file that you've got you can. Um, change and then put it back into the car but I don't think you can go in and start remotely changing things live because that's live which you've done then um, whether you're driving along in the car or whatever, whatever you can do lots of different things isn't it? So, but yeah that's it so we need to crack on some work mate don't we we do yeah we're done yep. um, I've got some few bits to do on fields um, and then we'll be uh, yeah and I'm going to be giving, we'll be the, van, so giving the van a clean as well Giving the van a clean smell, so yeah, we're going to let you uh, do the outro. I'm going to go and set up the the pressure washer for you. Yeah, you know, snow foam and all that sort of stuff, and then you'll be doing that. I'll be doing finishing off your car, and then um, yeah, we'll take it from there, innit? Yeah, yeah. But um, but I will catch up with you guys and girls later. So thanks ever so much for for listening. Usual thing: like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, comments down below. Really important, you know, whether it's that or that. You know, that's no, it's it's fine. You know, we're we got big children, isn't we? We do, yeah. We can yep. take anything. <laughs> you know, we can take anything. So, um, yeah, see you soon. Yep. Bye for now. Cheers, Martin. Yeah, so as Martin said, yeah, make sure you check us out on uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook. There'll be more stuff on there, especially on these cars. Um, this one, as we said, is going up to National Day, so Martin will be up there as well. So uh, if you've been up there and seen him and spoken to him about the car, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to showing it off. And if you've got any questions on the setup, let us know in the comments. Uh, we do read all the comments and respond to them when we can. And yeah, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification, let us know in the comments what you think. And if you like this, if you like more fast forward content, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.